What is up guys, welcome back to The Crew 2, and in this video I will be going over my top two air race planes in the game here, so this is actually going to be a pretty important class, mainly because most of the summits have a skill, and are like one of the air race events normally showing up a lot more often now, so having a couple of planes you guys can actually use and or score really well with, I would say is definitely going to be a plus and or a must at this point on the Crew 2. Even with Motorfest actually coming out, I cannot wait to see how they're going to implement the planes in that game, but... Nonetheless, guys, jumping right into this here, number two for me is actually going to be a bit of a shocker. Originally, I was actually testing out the Harman Rocket 3, but I don't really find the Harman Rocket 3 to be all that great anymore. I just feel like the plane's honestly really twitchy, and that's most likely going to be one of the reasons why I really don't see people run it. But moving right over, guys, to my second choice is probably going to be kind of shocking. I actually haven't flown this plane that much, but recently, though, I'm really liking this thing. The Waco YMF 5D Super is actually going to be a pretty decent plane overall. One thing I found pretty interesting about this thing though guys, the fact that I really never used it in the past at all. I was noticing on many of the events recently that this plane does pop up pretty often. I noticed this on the summit as well, so I was like, you know what? Let's jump into the Waco and actually test out this vehicle and see why it's so much better. My goodness guys, I can definitely see why so many players are running this plane. So, not only can you actually run the plane in races, but you can also use this thing on skills as well. I know a lot of players might be looking for a plane that they can run in the skills on the summits. Normally a lot of the summits have at least one aerobatic skill or something that does show up, so having a good air race plane is definitely going to be a must for this. I was noticing guys, one of the biggest highlights of the Waco here is by far going to be its handling and stability. I was noticing like keeping this plane in a straight line and or like actually going through an aerobatic objective. The plane doesn't fight you nearly as much as like the Harman Rocket 3 and I'm sure you might be able to fix some of that by actually tuning the plane a bit, but I really do feel like a lot of people are not going to want to mess with that all that much, and I actually feel like this plane's going to be one of the better ones, especially when it comes to stability. That's also probably going to be one of the biggest reasons why I see so many people actually use this thing. In a lot of the events I was messing around with, for example, I actually was in the one in Daytona, and when I was looking at the leaderboard, guys, I was noticing the Waco showing up a lot more often. I was also noticing this a lot on these skills as well, so I was like, you know what, this plane has to be better than I think it is. And it turns out, guys, this thing's definitely going to deserve a place on this list. I'm sure a lot of people are going to know what number one is, which I will jump into that here in a second. But my goodness, guys, if you are looking for a new plane to mess around with, I would definitely recommend the Waco. Not only can you guys do a lot of the skills with this plane like the aerobatics and or the low altitudes, you can also jump into the events and still score very well because this plane's also pretty dang fast and it's going to be insanely easy to fly through the objectives with it because of that insanely good stability. And then moving over to my number one pick guys is probably not going to be very shocking. The Zivco Edge 540 V3 has basically been my favorite plane for a very long time. And I have a feeling this is most likely not going to change for a while, but I know a lot of players have been probably running this plane a lot more often. I have been noticing in many leaderboards. It's basically just the Zivco Edge for good reasoning, guys. I mean, this plane is honestly incredible. Not only can you jump into basically any aerobatic skill like a low altitude and or like one of the regular aerobatics, and you will basically easily get a high score with this plane every single time. I really do feel like it's going to be like the best overall plane to actually run on basically everything. With summits having more and more aerobatic type of skills in them, I have been noticing a lot more people actually run the Zivco. I do remember a while back a lot of players actually weren't running this plane all that much. And I do believe a lot of people were still running the Harman Rocket 3 back in the day, but overall I really do think the Zivco Edge is by far going to be a better plane. Not only is this thing going to have great stability and or handling, it's also not going to fight you like the Harman Rocket 3 is as well, and if you guys are doing some of these aerobatic skills, you're going to want to have nice stability, and you're not going to want to have that plane being twitchy and or kind of annoying. I was noticing some of the planes are kind of just very frustrating to fly, and I really don't think a lot of people are going to use them at all, and I would say the Zivco Edge here is most likely going to remain on the top for many people. And not only can you guys do the aerobatic skills with no issues, 
you can then throw on a Nitro Chemist set and jump into the events and still score insanely high, if not like the highest scores you possibly can get with this plane. One thing I also noticed about the Zivco is the fact that you can also do over 275 miles per hour with this thing. And depending on the Nitro Chemist set you guys have, you can also basically have Nitrous all the time on these races. So you're going to be able to go insanely fast basically all the time with it. I do find this to by far be my favorite plane to use on all the events. And I've been finding myself basically only running the Zivco on the skills for an insanely long time. It's kind of hilarious guys because I've always ran the Zivco for a while. I have been noticing a lot more of this plane popping up from a lot of players which is so awesome because I really do feel like it's going to be the best overall plane to run. Now one thing I do have to admit though, I do think that Waco is also going to be pretty dang decent. I would recommend trying out the Waco as well. Maybe you guys might want a different plane to fly around or maybe you're tired of the Zivco, which I would honestly doubt a lot of people not wanting to fly this thing, but maybe you're looking for like a different plane to mess around with and or just fly around. I would recommend trying out the Waco because not only can that plane do skills, it can also do pretty dang good in races similar to the Zivco, so you guys can basically run either one of these planes and do insanely good in summits, which is always going to be a great sight to see if you can actually run two different planes on many of the events and or skills, and still easily get into platinum in those said summits, but I do want to know what you guys think in the comments below, which air race plane is going to be your favorite and why. And here are the settings I'm currently running on the Zivco Edge and the Waco Super.